Tim Calvin, the first time I remember hearing anyone speak about the military was at the kitchen table listening to my grandfather, Bill Rowe. He served in World War II, first the Navy and then the Army. He came from a big family, seven boys, three girls. And from what I've been told, five of the brothers served in the military. My grandfather passed away several years ago, but his brother JC is still living. The Rowe brothers grew up in Jackson, Tennessee. My grandfather owned a farm up there where the University of Tennessee is now. J.C. Rowe was the third of seven boys. He now lives in the Westover community, only about three miles from that family farm. Daddy was a, he was a sweet person. He's a, he loved his family and he knew he was poor. He knew we was poor, but we always had something to eat somewhere or another. But uh, hadn't been from grandmas and grandpas, those times would have been rough. J.C. got his draft notice in 1944. Gosh, it's been a long time ago. His two older brothers were already in the war. We took a train from here to Fort Ogathorpe and a train from there out of, the Union, out of the station up in Chattanooga. That train took him to Florida for training. He later boarded a ship to La Havre, France. I have heard people late in the night, you know, just hear somebody kind of don't know what they're crying for, but you could hear them crying. And they let, sometimes it'll set off chain, train, chain reaction, you know, and we're just kids. He arrived in France in January 1945 for the last few months of the war in Europe. The thing that got me when I first went into combat area, we went into a staging area. Uh, where they had dead Germans on one side and dead GIs on the other. And that's when I began to get so scared and tremble. He says he dropped to his knees and prayed. And he says from that point forward, he was calmer. He spent the rest of the war in rear echelon support and then worked at a hospital in a camp that held German prisoners. If anybody died, we would take them to their home town to be buried. He also went to take care of the people who were liberated from Nazi prison camps, including the camp at Dachau. It was another world. It's hard to believe that things like that happened. And so many of those memories have not faded with time. I can shut my eyes and see it. I can shut my eyes and see the gas room. JC says there were challenging times during the war, but after the war, he re-enlisted and stayed in the Army, then came home and served in the reserves. We were so proud. We were so proud when we come back home. I come back home and I was, that uniform you see right there, I was strutting that uniform, man. In 1951, Uncle J.C. went to work for the Tennessee Highway Patrol and stayed there for 27 years. Both my grandfathers served in the military as well as uncles and great uncles. I'm grateful for the example that they set.